It was a demonstration that could not be seen or really heard on Main Street today, but that doesn't mean people did not have plenty to say about inequalities for women in the workplace. The Stevens family visiting from Athens, Georgia, is not wearing red for any demonstrations, and they're not taking the day off of work to show solidarity. But equal rights for women is still very much in front of them. Having two daughters makes you even more aware of that because you're looking at their future. My life would be pretty empty uh, without the women that are in my life. <laughs> It'd just be me. I just want to be able to honestly tell them that in this country they can do whatever they want to do and they can be whatever they want to be. Meanwhile, new mom for a second time, Jamie Stevens, feels some women demonstrators may be misguided on why they're demonstrating. A lot of it's just people are finding junk online to you know, stand behind and protest about, and I just don't totally agree with it. In January, hundreds of thousands of women poured into the streets of Washington to continue to push for equal rights, and today's demonstration, although less visible, comes from that spirit. But what's the reality behind inequality in the workplace for women? According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, women earn 81.1% of what men make. That's roughly 80 cents for every dollar that a man earns. From a lawmaking standpoint, women legislators in this region look like this. In South Carolina, less than 14 percent. In North Carolina, 24 percent. And in Georgia, nearly 30 percent of legislators are women. Now in the schools, this is what it looks like in Greenville County. 82 percent of teachers are women, and they report that 60 percent of the administrators are women. Finally, staying in Greenville County, as an example, the Chamber of Commerce reports that out of 40,000 locally run businesses, 14,000 of them are owned or operated by women. Those numbers are from 2012, and the chamber says a new report is expected this year. All right, so that's a look at the numbers. Now, even the most passionate women activists, the ones who led the way to the streets of Washington, D.C. in January that you saw there, uh, they had no plans of taking the day off from work today. Coming up at 6, we'll hear from a teacher who is also an activist. Gabby? Patrick.